Welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Yeah, today I'm in my backyard and uh, I have a couple of things I would like to show you. It's just going to be a very short video. Uh, the iron fireball. Uh, some of you have uh, trouble uh, assembling it, put it together and uh, I'll show you how and how you can uh, adjust it so it fits perfectly. And uh, beside that, my little table that I used in my uh, camp where I was making my Viking jewelry. A lot of you have asked me about this table, uh, how I put it together and so on, and I'll show you uh, the detail in this and how I uh, put it together. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, beside that, I have a little thing down here uh, that I would like to show you how I did that. Yeah, and uh, these are the parts that is in the uh, package when you get the fireball. Um, three of these. Uh, three of these and one to put it together and a little bottom and then these poles and there's a, a ring to it and I can recommend you to, um, to do what I have done drill a little hole down in one of them 14 centimeters uh, from the top and uh, put a paracord in and then um, yeah then you won't lose the ring you can see here uh, so it's a little trick and uh, why haven't we done that it's because of the price if you have to do this in production it will be a little bit uh, more expensive so uh, this is something you can do yourself just uh, take a drill and uh, drill two holes and put a paracord and uh, tie it together with the little ring so yeah um, and then the next thing um, these that are going into the holes here, sometimes they may be a little bit not bended enough. Uh, remember this is made uh, mostly by hand. So you just take a little plier and just bend it a little bit down there. And then when you put it together, it's much easier. To assemble it. Like this. So, yeah, and then I just put the legs on and it's not always that these legs are <laughs> uh, turning the right way, so you have, maybe have to adjust it a little bit, like this, and then you put the legs in, yep, and just turn it around, like this, and then put the little bottom in so that the uh, sparks or the embers won't fall down on the ground and then something I've heard uh, a couple of times uh, these don't fit down here so you can just take a little file and this and then just uh, file it a little bit thinner like this I have no problem with this and it's not all the fireballs that had this uh, issue but uh, if you do you can just use a little file and then you just put this in
like this. Oops. Yeah. And then just down in the in these slots. And then you should be good to go. So yeah. I'll file this a little bit, perhaps bend this, and uh, yeah, it should work perfectly. Yeah, and now for my little table. Uh, I have four of these legs, four of these that uh, put them together, and this for tighten it, I'll show you. And then I have two pieces of rope, this one, and I made an eye splice, spice on this. And uh, yeah, I got a video where I show how I did that. And uh, yeah, then I took and uh, spliced this uh, little rope together, and uh, it's very difficult to show in in the video, but I have a little video you can see now. Yeah, and I use a little bit of rope and some string, and then I made the stop knot I shown before, and uh, put it over the rope, tighten it, and then I separate the cordage into three and made a stop knot on each one of them like this and uh, also on the other ends then I have these two and then I have to splice them together and uh, it's a little bit tricky you have to do this separate them and uh, make them fit like this and then you just start splicing. The principle is uh, over the first and under the next. You can see here, take the little string and uh, put it under and just tighten it gently and uh, the other one one beside it and there I made the three first you can see and then I turn it and make it on the other side over and under again over and under Yeah, and then you can see uh, the first three I made, three on each side, and then I just continue over the first and under the next, all the way round. And here you can see I'm almost finished there. I made three uh, turns. And uh, the good thing about this is the more you tighten it, the tighter it will be. And then I just cut these off the ends. And uh, yeah, then it's finished. Then I splice two uh, ends together. Yeah. And uh, beside that, I have this little uh, top for my table. And uh, on here, I have, a bit, I have a little hook that I can put this a uh, little rope in, like this, and we'll come to that. Now for putting it together, um, you can see here I um, marked it with letters, 2A and 2B. It's very important that uh, it's the top and the bottom, these are rounded these are a little bit uh, in an angle so we'll put them together like this um, the small parts on the top and the bottom but before I do that I have to put this one on and then I take these that fits down in these holes like this And then the other ones. You can see here.
like this. And uh, yeah, this one. Like this. And uh, then I just turn it around like this. You can see here. And then I use this to make tension. And instead of uh, making a rope like this, uh, you can do it as I showed in the, the previous video. Just take a little rope and tie it a knot here. That could work too. And just tie it a little bit. Push it down there. And then put this one over. And then I tighten it a little bit more. Careful not too much. This one is going almost all the way out. And then this will be locked in place. And uh, you can see the top can be removed. That's not good if you are going to uh, move the table. So this one will fix this in place. So just Tighten it like this and just make a knot like this. Yeah. Then you have a table you can uh, lift on the top and will stay there. Hope you get the picture. Um, I won't say it's easy to make uh, these. Uh, you have to um, make these very uh, precise so uh, they fit together uh, but yeah and uh, when I do this this pull together and it will be very stable as you can see so this is my little Viking table I call it a Viking table I'm sure they were not making these in the Viking age but I think it's cool and it's very simple and, uh, and very compact uh, when it's not uh, assembled like this. Yeah, and uh, when I finished, I just loosen this, put this one up, yeah, and then I can take it apart. So this is what you're going to eat for making such a little table. I hope you like it.